look, when you are highly attractive, when you are highly attractive, it's going to intimidate a lot of people. It's going to intimidate a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people. See, this is the thing. Highly attractive, meaning you know who you are as an individual, meaning you have to understand something. Look, true beauty is on the inside, meaning true beauty is of the heart and the mind, meaning you're not, you're not a beautiful person. If you're not a beautiful person and you cannot label yourself a attractive person if you don't possess attractiveness on the inside if you don't if you're not attractive on the inside meaning look you can look like whatever you want to look like you can you you can whatever you whatever people everybody's attracted to everybody's attracted to everybody has their own let me see let me what is it let me put it in a way everybody is has their own has their own perception or has their own Um, uh, let me just, what's the way to, let me see, other than perception, what's the word, let me see, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, preference. Yeah, everybody has their own preference on who they deem attractive, meaning a lot of people got to understand something. What other people is attracted to, you might not be attracted to that. You might not be attracted to that, what other people is attracted to, meaning everybody got their own perception on who's attractive and what and what is attractive and what makes um them what makes them attracted to another person if i'm making sense so at the end of the day but this is the thing that means nothing because you can be attracted to anybody anybody attractive people is everywhere but attractive minds is hard to find and then on top of that an, att an attractive person that possesses an attractive mind do for a fact that he that him or her is attractive on the inside see this thing true beauty is on the inside and see this is why you're gonna intimidate a lot of people when you're highly attractive because guess what your beauty is more than your looks it's more than your looks no it's your soul it's who you are as an individual meaning you your people cannot accept the fact that highly attractive people possess beautiful souls they can't this the thing they can't they can't grasp that they think just because somebody attractive, okay, he attract. Like, I'm finna be honest, I, I've been in situations to where I knew women wanted to mess with me, but this is the thing, those women were scared because, okay, he attractive, but he too attractive. And this is the thing, it's just something about him. It's, it's something about him. And this is the thing, and this thing, that messes them up because they allow, they allow, this is the thing, a lot of people gonna allow fear to lead them meaning you judge the book by its cover but this is the thing you ain't do nothing but do me a favor for the simple fact that you cannot handle an individual such as myself and you did yourself a favor at least you were smart enough to know not to come towards me because guess what you couldn't handle an individual like me see this is the thing a lot of people they can't handle individuals like us because god's children we are highly attractive individuals we are we are self-preservated we are self-disciplined and this is the thing we we're not insecure we don't suffer from low self-esteem we don't we don't most people in today's society they're severely insecure and they suffer from low self-esteem meaning they don't know they don't love themselves see we actually possess self-love a lot of people this is the thing meaning we don't go outside of ourselves seeking validation or or, or craving attention are actually caring about other people's opinion we don't do that because we know who we are as an individual most people in today's society they don't possess that they don't possess self-love. They don't. Nine times out of ten, they was robbed. They was robbed from that um, early on in childhood. But this thing, who that's not an excuse. So yeah, you're gonna. And this is thing when you're highly attractive, when you got everything going for yourself, people gonna wanna. People gonna look at you, but they not gonna wanna. They not gonna wanna come towards you because guess what? You're too powerful. You're too powerful. See, this is the thing. People what, people would rather much prefer somebody who's unattractive than somebody that's not attractive because somebody that's highly attractive don't need them. Yeah. So, and then on top of that, then on top of that, people are going to try to get an ego boost off highly attractive people. Like I say, let me tell you something. 
our beauty is on the inside. So that manifests on the outside. See, this is the thing. When you you're, when you're so see this is the thing. This is what highly attractive people know for a fact. You y'all wasn't see this thing. Y'all didn't y'all throughout our childhood. Throughout see this thing throughout our childhood we was bullied. We 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 couldn't even get see this thing. If you a dude we couldn't get no females. We couldn't get no females want to be with us. If you a female that's highly attractive and you got on your stuff now, no dude wasn't checking for you because nine times out of ten you was overweight. You are you was super skinny. Are you just wasn't? Or you just wasn't that female? But see this thing, you're that female now. You're that female now, and this is the thing. And if you a dude, you was not in shape. Let me tell you something. You want an athlete. You you didn't. You wasn't no athlete. You you couldn't get no girls because this thing. Girls thought you was lame. See this is the thing. It's gonna have to take you to get older, and for you to love yourself so you can reverse that effect. And once you reverse, once you reverse that effect, them same people that was clowning you, them same people that was talking about you, they gonna be they gonna be on your balls now. Yeah. See what this this is what people this is what people want this is what people won't tell you about highly attractive people. Highly attractive individuals was bullied throughout their childhood. Highly attractive individuals was called ugly throughout their childhood and throughout their teenage years. God just blessed us because guess what? He heard all them you ugly. He heard all those I don't want to be with you. He heard all that. And guess what? He gave us what we wanted. What which was what? Attractiveness, beauty. But this is the thing. If God gonna give us this, he gonna this thing, he gonna make sure that we know exactly what to do with it. Meaning we're attractive, but we're not gonna use our attractive level in to our advantage in order to manipulate people. We 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 got great power. So with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, that's what y'all don't know about highly attractive people. This is the thing, what y'all don't, what people don't know about highly attractive people is that we had it worse the most. This don't, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, we, I didn't used to look like this. A lot of people that's highly attractive, we ain't used to look like this. No, we, 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 we figured out, we figured out the formula. And the formula is we, we, we had to become better, not for nobody else, but for us. And then on top of that, and, and see that then on top of that, we had to remove ourselves from toxic situations and toxic people so that we can love ourselves. Because this is the thing, if you're with toxic people, you ain't going to love yourself because them people are going to try to steal love away from you. They're going to try to steal self-love away from you. So we possess self-love that cannot be broken for the simple fact that for the simple fact that it's already people out there that try to rob us. We was beautiful since child. We was beautiful since we came out the womb. Somebody, just, that's what I'm saying. Some, guess what? Some people, let me tell you something about highly attractive people. That When you was younger, nine times out of ten, people tried to manipulate you into thinking you was ugly, but you was never ugly. You was never ugly. They just didn't want you. This is the thing. They seen that potential in you, and they didn't want it to exist out of jealousy and envy. Point blank, period. You're gonna, that's what I'm saying. See this, but this thing, once you get older, once you get, see this thing, this ain't childhood no more. This ain't high school no more. That stuff didn't count. This is adulthood. Now, see, this is the thing. We're winning in reality, meaning you don't have to tell me, um, oh, Robert, you look good. No, I know that. Not because you told me that. No, because I love myself and I possess self-love. And then on top of that, I refuse to let myself go in general. That's why. People think that people think you are a highly attractive person because you ain't a highly attractive person by what you say. You're a highly attractive person by what you do. And you got to possess beauty on the inside. Your beauty comes from the inside. It doesn't come from on the outside. I Meaning you can look like whatever you want to look like. But if you're ugly on the inside, you're ugly. Take that makeup off and them fake eyelashes and them fake and that fake weave. And you and if you a dude, them steroids ain't gonna cut it. That's what I'm saying. Them steroids ain't gonna cut it. Stop faking it. They want person. Look, personality matters. Personality matters. That's what I'm saying. Being a genuine individual matters. That's true beauty. You can't come over here and, and, and thinking just because you look good. No, uh, you got to look. You got to look good on the inside. You can't. You let me tell you something. You can't. You we don't see. We're not evil. We're not narcissistic. We don't use our attractiveness and our looks in order to try to manipulate individuals to get us what we want them to do. We don't need to do that. That's what other people gonna that, look. That's Jezebel activity. We're not doing that over here. See, and this is the thing. We don't see this is the thing. We don't chase, we attract. And, but this is the thing. It's intimidating. This thing being highly attractive intimidates people. 
it, it intimidates being a self preservated self disciplined it, it intimidates people it, it intimidates them because guess what look insecurity doesn't discriminate low self-esteem does not discriminate evil does not discriminate these people don't love themselves some of these people don't love see we actually love ourselves we see this thing we don't have we don't we don't go out and have unrealistic expectations no our, our expectations are realistic and we meet those expectations because guess what we're we not trying to control nobody we're not trying to control nobody no you free to do as you want to you free to do what you want to do i can't control you because you guess what you damn sure can't control me because guess what i'm not doing nothing wrong anyway and i'm already ahead of the curve I healed alone. See this thing when you heal alone, you you, you are, nobody you, you can't you can't stop you a force to be reckoned with cuz guess, guess what can nobody stop you you healed alone. Yep. Yep. You went look, that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people see this thing, people going to try to judge you based off your physical appearance cuz this thing the physical appearance is what the first, physical appearance is what the very first thing people going to look at meaning Somebody gonna already know if they wanna get involved with you just by uh, them looking at you. Meaning, and this the thing, that's wrong because this thing, we not looking, this, see this thing, I'm not looking at your physical appearance. I'm looking at you, uh, I'm, not, I'm feeling your energy. That's what I'm saying. Your energy is gonna dictate whether or not you a good person or not. And I'm gonna use that, and this the thing, and this the thing, I'm gonna be able to pick up on energy because I have a soul. But if you don't have a soul, you just gonna look at me and be like, okay, he looks good. No, I'm gonna look at you. I'm gonna look at you because I have a soul, and I'm gonna look you dead in your eye, and, and you, I'm gonna look you dead in your eye, and, 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 and this the thing, and I'm gonna know you ain't who you say you is, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go by my business. Because guess what, I felt your energy. Yep, I, I felt your energy. That's just what it is. And being highly attractive intimidates people because this is the thing. Being highly attractive means you are not. This is the thing. It, you're more than confident. You assertive. You assertive. I like it, it's. It, you're assertive. And when you assertive, you don't think you are. You know you are. Nobody can touch you. Yeah. This ain't so, look, this not social media, this real life. Forget what you seeing on, uh, that's what I'm saying. Not forget what you seeing on, uh, forget what you seeing on um, social media and YouTube. Nah, it's what you see in person, meaning, nah, -uh, I'm like this in person. Like, I know my worth. Like, it's people that they be scared to FaceTime me. Like, when I be talking, I be like, FaceTime me. They be like, nah, I don't want to FaceTime because I look bad. What do you mean you look bad? That means you're insecure. Forget um, social media. Now, I want to see you in person. I want to see you in person because I want to feel it. Yeah, I want to feel. I want to see if it feel right. So if I, that's what I'm saying. That one. I mean, let me tell y'all something. We don't possess God's children. We he he. We don't possess anxiety. We we don't possess insecurities. We don't possess low self esteem. This is why it intimidates people. Because guess what? We're not pretending. See this thing. We're highly attractive. But this is the thing, we're highly attractive, but we're real with it. It's people that are so called attractive and they're faking. See, they know we're not faking with it. They okay, this guy, this this is a very dangerous man because I'm finna be honest, I'm attracted to this person and he's highly attractive, but this is the thing, he's real. He's not faking it. How is he able to do this? How is he able to be this attractive? and still do what he want to do and how come he don't chase nobody we're not used to individuals chasing people everybody come towards him he don't chase nobody because guess what my beauty is on the inside this thing i actually possess self-love them people let me tell you something they don't get it people don't get it they, they don't get it at all because guess what they don't want to get it they don't want to get it because most people don't self-reflect and they don't look in the mirror Mm. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We the individuals, when we was in high school, we didn't get no play. That's what people not going to tell y'all. This is what people not going to tell y'all about highly attractive individuals. If you a dude, you couldn't get no females. I'm telling you, them females didn't want to be with you. They want to be with you now because you on top. 
They want to be with you now because you on top. If you a female, them dudes didn't want to be with you because you probably was you was overweight or you probably were just lame in their eyes. You wasn't lame, but this the thing. They wanted the cheerleader. They Look, they wanted them cheerleaders. They wanted them girls that was playing basketball. They overlooked you for the simple fact that they was picking and choosing. And, and guess what? Them same girls that's out of high school, them same girls that um that all the dudes want, they, they, they don't even look good now. You on top. You see how life goes? A complete 360. But this thing, what they not gonna know is that you um that if you whether you're a man or female, male or female, you you have to love yourself. And you have to overcome depression. You have to overcome insecurities. You have to overcome low self-esteem. You had to love yourself. You had to get up out there and become disciplined. This is what you had to do. This is what you had to do. It didn't come easy. It didn't come easy. But this is the thing. When you're highly attractive, when you keep going, you, the results going to pay off. What they're not going to tell you is that highly attractive people are healthy. No plastic surgery. That intimidates people. That intimidates people. You want to know why? Because those people are severe. Look, man, I'm finna be honest. 95% of people that live in this um in today's society, especially the United States, are suffer from low self-esteem and severe insecurities. I promise you they do. So once they come get around individuals that don't care, that love themselves, it intimidates them. And they start and it intimidates them. Meaning they gonna wanna be with you. They, yeah, you look good to them, but this is the thing. They gonna they gonna create see this thing. Once you enter their life. And once they see that you that you are actually a beautiful person on the inside, not just on the outside, but on the inside, because it's on the it's, you, you look you, what you have on the inside manifests on the outside. Point blank, period. Once they see that, it's a different story. Because guess what? They gonna they gonna come they gonna have to come to the realization that you're not faking. They faking though, because they used to getting people based off they based off they looks, not personality, but looks. Meaning. They they didn't they wasn't they don't get some these people don't get involved with y'all based off them actually loving you no they only get involved with you based off what you can do for them. But this thing once they realize that you can't once they realize that you know for a fact that you don't need them oh it's, they finna create a flaw. They gonna they gonna get away from you. They are, cause guess what? Guess what? They they can't. People they cannot. Let me tell you something. People cannot accept the fact that such highly attractive possess such a beautiful soul. Point blank, period. And this is why I tell. And don't sit. And this thing. This is why I tell people don't settle for less. This is why I tell people so, don't settle for less. I know so many of my sisters. I know so many of my sisters that's out here that's that's married or with um or with or with a dude. And I'm talking about man, they look good too. But this is the thing, they do treat them like shit. He, you wanna know why he treats you like stuff? Because he, he getting an ego boost off you. You the pretty girl. This thing, you the pretty girl. Look, you the pretty girl that he end up getting. No, no, ain't you you chose him because guess what? You got a beautiful, you got a beautiful heart. You have a beautiful soul. You went, you didn't care about this man based off his looks, but this is the thing you're gonna see him change, and he in this thing he gonna get big headed. He gonna get big headed now. Now he finna start treating you like you ain't nothing due to the fact that okay, I did not he didn't already got the pretty girl that everybody want now. He already and did, yeah, and boom, y'all relationship gonna be in shackles because now the ugly dude, not a not a dude that's ugly, and you gave him a chance because this thing he ugly because he ugly on the inside. And it's vice versa with um dudes. You get up, you get up out here and and, and um get, and get you um and, and set up for less if you want to. I promise you that. Look, that ugly girl, she gonna cross you, cause she they gonna get big headed. Cause guess what? The, our beauty is within. Of course they gonna play a role. Everybody's gonna play a role. They gonna play a role, but but the mask gonna fall off because guess what? You're intimidating. That your your beauty and your attractiveness is so intimidating. It scares people. And they're gonna develop this type of, they're gonna develop a deep, they're gonna develop jealousy towards you for that too. And that's why y'all relationship gonna end because they're gonna develop friendship, whatever. They're gonna develop a deep, they're gonna develop jealousy as the relationship grows and as it continues. Because guess what? They, because they're, because guess what? They can't handle the fact that such a beautiful man or such a beautiful woman actually wanted to deal with them and put up with them. That's intimate. This is how these people think. See, this thing being highly attractive is a gift and a curse.
because people gonna try to use people gonna try to use you and this thing they don't not only is they gonna try to use you they're gonna try to abuse you yep they don't that's what i'm saying that's why i said i be trying to tell people don't settle for less because i'm finna be when you settle for less you're gonna get less but this thing, you sometimes you're gonna have to go through that situation in order. Sometimes you're gonna have to go through that situation in order for you to realize you can't settle for less. Yep. Because guess what? It's not about looks at all. That's what people understand. Something. It's not about looks at all. It's not about looks. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's not about looks. Being a, but that's what I'm saying. But this the thing. It's not about looks to us, but this thing, who's to say it's not about looks to them? Because it's about looks to them. But this the thing, but this thing, it's not, it, it, guess what? Personality matters. See, this thing, this is the, this is the, um, this is, um, where everybody gonna fail it. Because guess what? They don't possess no personality. They don't possess a soul. You then have this thing. And, and once we see that, we're gonna leave you. I'm not gonna be your friend no more. I'm not gonna talk to you no more. Cause you trying to use me. And you trying to get an ego boost off me. And I cannot allow myself, I cannot allow you to do that. And I cannot allow myself to go through that. Because I don't deserve that. Like she said, oh, why did I get married too? You trying to hurt me. And guess what? I'm not finna let you hurt me. <laughs> Cause look, I'm a beautiful person. Yeah, being look, being highly attractive is intimidating. Just look, just go out there and get you. Look, man. Y'all, hey, y'all better stop settling for less too. Y'all better stop settling for less. Because guess what? You can people can do so much better. Y'all remember like I told y'all on how some of my sisters they be telling me about they dudes. I be like, bro, y'all can do so much better. Then they, guess what they be like, Robert? I know. I know. Well, if you know, then do better. That's what I'm saying. They know I know. Do better. I know some dudes in this situation, too. I'm like, hey, bro. I'm finna be honest, bro. You remember that time we went to the gym and them girls, they, them, uh, them baddies was looking at you, bro? And you sitting up there tripping over this girl, man. You crazy, bro. You, that's what I'm saying. People still be trauma bundled. People be thinking that they owe these people. You don't owe them nothing, man. You better tell, man, look. You don't know. You gotta leave. Look, cut that zero and come get with this hero. That's what I'm saying. Because guess what? Don't be Jay-Z in the situation. Don't get Beyonce. See, this thing don't get, don't be Jay-Z in the situation. Don't get Beyonce and take Beyonce for granted and cheat on her. Because guess what? Guess what? You, you Guess what? If Beyonce end up, no. Don't, because guess what? If Beyonce end up taking, if Beyonce end up taking Jay-Z back, then that should go to tell you right now. Beyonce can do better on Soul because guess what? Beyonce don't need Jay Z. She's already got money. What 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 does he have over her? Now yeah, what does he have? And guess what? That's just what it is. See, you can't guess what you. It doesn't matter what your social economic status is. It doesn't matter how much money you got. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you don't possess a soul, if you're not beautiful on the inside, all this stuff is gonna go to waste. Everything is gonna go to waste. I'm finna be honest, you can be a woman, you can be the baddest woman on the planet, and you still gonna get cheated on. You can be a dude and be a man that you still gonna get cheated on, because guess what? Y'all gonna have to learn one day, you stop going based off looks, because guess what? Sometimes it's not the people, it's y'all. Y'all just fall victim to lust. Y'all better get out here and get y'all somebody that y'all can have conversations with, point blank period. This, that's what I'm saying. I want that, that y'all better, bruh, Look, don't look, bro. Like I say, look, Forrest Gump, Forrest Gump. Look, if you ever seen the movie Forrest Gump, Forrest Gump, Jenny didn't deserve Forrest Gump. She didn't deserve him. Forrest Gump, let me tell you something. She played Forrest Gump. She don't know Forrest Gump was the beautiful person. Jenny didn't deserve her, but notice how he still loved her. He still loved her. If this was real life, let me tell you something. If this was real life, Forrest would have never got involved with her. She would have never got involved. This is real life. Forrest Gump, that's, that's just what they want to portray on Hollywood. If this is real life, Forrest Gump would probably have him. Look, Forrest Gump probably would have had him like three, look, three or four, five women. But that, like, look, that's the fake 
story that they gonna portray in Hollywood because guess what? Jenny, he didn't deserve her. He didn't deserve her. Unrealistic expectations. Stay blessed.